Hi, my name's Craig Stansborough. I'm the senior winemaker at Grant Burge Wines. Five generations of history has gone into Grant Burge Wines. Grant Burge Wines was established in 1988 with a focus on the land and vineyard. The Barossa is made up of two distinct regions, Barossa and Eden Valley, and we have a great presence in both of those and produce wines of elegance and style and longevity. I'd like to talk about our 2019, the Holy Trinity. It's a blend of Grenache, Shiraz and Mourvedre. Really has got a bit of a cult status, not only in the winemaking fraternity, but in Australia. Uh, it's from, the, as I said, from the 2019 vintage, which was, which was quite, a, quite a, a dry vintage, a dry, dry lead up winter, not much summer rain. So berry size was quite small and we had a lot of concentration actually quite suited to Grenache the variety. The other really interesting thing about this wine is it comes from predominantly 100 year old vineyards across mainly the southern Barossa. So it's got a fabulous history and heritage to it. In terms of winemaking, it's mostly done in open fermenters. Uh, we use header boards, which is quite, quite unique as well. And this just keeps the cap submerged through the life of the ferment, which gives us really good control over the ferment. And then we basket press into generally older oak. Another key thing about this wine is that it's, it's stored in larger oak, sort of fudras or puncheons, and generally only for about 14 to 16 months, depending on the vintage. It's a fabulous wine. Uh, the color is sort of crimson, it's got some purples, some reds there. Bouquet's lovely, there's some, there's almost some citrus, some florals, spice, some lovely ginger in this. Palette is wonderful, sort of medium to full bodied, uh, lots of texture, lovely tannins. There's some, almost some cocoa powder in there. Uh, it's quite a complex wine. But it's a wine that you can actually drink now or it sells beautifully. I'd like to talk about the 2019 Filsal Shiraz. The Filsal Shiraz is named after a vineyard that is dear to our heart, the Filsal Vineyard planted in 1920, which is in the southern Barossa. And this particular wine comes from that vineyard and surrounding vineyards. Uh, the 19 vintage uh, was quite dry. We had a dry winter, uh, relatively dry spring, uh, and, and quite warm. Shiraz doesn't tend to mind those conditions and we got amazing concentration from Shiraz out of 2019. And this is a, this is a classic example of Barossa Shiraz with its intensity and, and aromatics. Winemaking wise, generally done in open fermenters, but a few static fermenters as well. On skins for, for generally about eight to 10 days and then basket pressed and then transferred into a combination of French and American hogsheads with some new. Uh, we like to have around about 30% new in this particular wine. It's an amazing colour for a start, inky dark colours. The aromatic profile on this is typical, almost typical Southern Barossa where a lot of this is sourced from, with lots of plum, dark chocolate, a bit of raspberry, hints of spice, and a bit of toast from the oak. And the palate is what you'd expect from a Barossa Shiraz from a really good vintage. You know, it's powerful, it's got ripe tannins, it's mouth filling and it's long. It's such a lovely wine and a really, really good example of Barossa Shiraz. I'd like to talk about the 2019 Corriton Park Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a wine predominantly from the Corriton Park vineyard, a fabulous vineyard at the southern end of the Eden Valley, a terrific vineyard for Cabernet. It's from the 19 vintage, which is quite a dry, warm, almost hot vintage, uh, which generally doesn't suit Cabernet. But this just shows the diversity of the Barossa because we've got these two wonderful regions, the Barossa Valley and the Eden Valley. And when it's a little bit warm in the Barossa Valley, the Eden Valley excels, and particularly with this vineyard, which is so high, 450 to 500 metres above sea level. So it's a fabulous Cabernet vineyard. Winemaking wise, we tend to uh, ferment this in static fermenters uh, and leave it on skins for generally anywhere up, up to sort of 15 to 16 days and sometimes a bit longer. 
we want to get that structure right and those flavours right. The wine itself aromatically jumps out of the glass and tells you it's Cabernet. It's got this wonderful bay leaf chalk mint, a bit of red currant and the French oak in the background which is generally around about 30%, 35% you just gives some highlights on the nose as well. One of the great things about this vineyard is its acid retention and um, this shows it on the palate. It's so, so long and so fine with wonderful sort of flavours of Cabernet through it. You know, red currant sticks out, there's a bit of vanilla from the oak. It's just a fabulous complex wine that, well, drinks well now but honestly it'll, it'll age for 10 to 15 up to 20 years. Just a fabulous wine. I'd like to talk about the 2019 Balthazar. This is an Eden Valley wine, Eden Valley Shiraz. Mainly from the northern part of Eden Valley and offer two particular vineyards that give a wine that's incredibly luscious and mouth-filling. The 19 vintage was quite dry, dry winter, pretty warm summer, but the Eden Valley with its higher altitude and cooler conditions allowed a slower ripening. So we, we still got this lovely intense fruit power in this wine. We generally put this in open fermenters, occasionally some static fermenters. Slightly cooler ferment, we want to preserve this wonderful fruit in this wine. We then sort of use mainly sort of French oak in this particular wine. We, we think that works well with the structure of the wine. It's incredibly intense. Once you smell it, you fall in love with it, I think. It's got this wonderful plum, spice, earth, even a touch of raspberry in there. And on the palate, you, you'll see what I mean when you taste this wine. It's really luscious and that sort of length and persistence just add to the complexity of the wine. It's just a wonderful drink. It's beautiful now to, to drink, but it'll age gracefully over the next 10 to 15 years. I'd like to introduce you to the 2018 Nebu. This is our Cabernet Shiraz wine, a quintessential Australian blend that has a wonderful history in Australia. This particular wine is from the 18 vintage, which is highly regarded in the Barossa. Weather conditions were perfect. It just gave us an amazing sort of nice long ripening period, incredible flavour. Wine making wise, we do ferment this in a combination of static and open fermenters, pressed into a combination of French and American, but mainly French with a little bit of American in the Shiraz. What we're looking for is layers of flavour and complexity. And this wine speaks of that. It speaks of the both varieties. So you've got wonderful cassis and mint from the Cabernet, lovely sort of chocolate from the Shiraz. There's a little bit of oak poking through in the, in the background there, but the palate uh, again speaks of those varieties. You've got incredible line and length from that Cabernet, but lovely mid palate weight from the Shiraz. It's a wine that you can enjoy now, but watching this wine evolve will be a joy. This is the 2018 Abendigo. Abendigo is the very best blend of Renat Shiraz and Morvedra we can do out of the year. We don't do it every year, but 18 was such a wonderful vintage that allowed us to make a really lovely wine. Uh, the vintage itself, you know, we, we had a lovely wet winter which set up the vine beautifully for the growing season and the resultant wines were fabulous. The, the vineyards from this are from very old Grenache and Mataro vineyards as well as Shiraz, but Grenache, these Grenaches are the hero of this particular wine. We actually sort of use mostly open fermenters in this with header boards and leave it on skins for any, anywhere up to 30 days and then press into large format oak. One of the keys of this wine is that, that large format. In fact, this particular wine was almost wholly matured in a two and a half thousand litre vat. The resultant wine is wonderful. The, the colour's bright and vibrant. The aromatics just jump out of the glass. There's, there's mulberry, there's raspberry, there's loads of spice, even a bit of lemon curd through there. And on the palate uh, speaks of the blend of the three varieties as well. Wonderfully textural and long and persistent. It's, it really is a wine that will evolve gracefully uh, and age, age for probably up to 10 to 15 years. This is a very special wine. This is our 
eight-year-old limited release 2013 Shadrach. Shadrach is really the very best of what we can do with Cabernet from that particular vintage. The vintage itself, probably not regarded as the greatest vintage, but one thing with a dry winter gave us small crops and lots of concentration. And this wine displays that. It's a, it's a combination of Eden Valley and Barossa Valley. So we get the best of both worlds there. The winemaking is pretty standard. Uh, static fermenters into high quality French oak and around about 50% new and matured for about 18 months. It screams Cabernet. Aromatically, uh, it's got that great cassis, a bit of autumn leaf, uh, a bit of chocolate, which probably comes from the Barossa Valley portion of this. But on the palate is where it, where it really sings. It's got wonderful sweet fruit, lovely intensity, this great line that Eden Valley Cabernet gives. Um, it's a wine that really is drinking beautifully now. So if you're wanting a great Cabernet experience, this is the wine that you need to find.